Let's start with some of the big ideas in economics. We're going to go through 10, shall we say, principles, which will really guide you through your micro and macro courses. Let's jump right in. The first big idea is that incentives matter. To me, this is the centerpiece, the heart of all economics. Incentives matter. What is an incentive? Why do you go to class? Because you want to get a better job? That desire for a better job is an incentive to go to class. Why do you eat lunch? Because you're hungry? That hunger is an incentive. Why'd you ask that cute girl out? Because you really enjoy having a romantic partner? That enjoyment of being in a relationship is an incentive. Incentives are everywhere. They're why we act. They are the things around the world which encourage us to make decisions that drive our actions forward. An incentive is a reward or a penalty that motivates behavior. If I told you that the entire final exam was knowing the number of pennies you could fit in a pint glass, that was the entire final exam. What would you spend the next semester doing? Spending a bunch of time trying to fit pennies into a pint glass to figure out how many pennies would fit? Yeah, absolutely. Why? Because I would have incentivized you to do so. Now, the final exam isn't going to be knowing how many pennies fit in a pint glass. The final exam is going to be based on your understanding of the economic way of thinking. Hopefully, I can incentivize you to learn how to think like an economist in order to do well on the final exam. There's a famous line from the father of economics, Adam Smith who wrote in 1776, it is not from the benevolence of the butcher, the brewer, or the baker that we expect our dinner, but from their regard to their own self-interest. People don't act, provide goods, make sure there's gasoline at the gas station or corn in the grocery store because they want to feed you. They act because it's how they make money and how they make a living for themselves. People respond to incentives in predictable ways. When you are willing to pay for something, if someone is able, they'll provide it to you in exchange for money. Self-interest drives the economy forward. It encourages exchange and the provision of goods and ideas. 